Hey guys, it's Logan from Tech Breakdown, and today we're going to break down everything there is to know about the iPhone 13. This video will collect all of the reviews, tests, and specs into one simple video. These phones break the limits of what's possible on an iPhone. They revolutionize the camera capabilities of even the most expensive cinema cameras with their Apple Silicon, enabling you to have a cinema-worthy camera in your pocket. They break the records for battery life. They have best-in-class durability and great systems like the external MagSafe system and the internal neural engine. The iPhone 13 is truly a breakthrough product, and today, we are going to go over everything, from the specs to the tests to the comparisons to the final verdict. So get comfortable, grab your snacks, because we're about to go on a wild ride. The iPhone 13 brings many features from the previous iPhones into a new modern product. Let's start by highlighting some past features. The iPhone 12 lineup introduced ultra-fast 5G cellular speeds. 5G is a more modern and faster data type compared to 4G LTE. It has less lag, higher bandwidth, and uses millimeter wave technology to make speeds significantly faster, even though the actual cell towers that power 5G are much smaller. iPhone 13 features ceramic shield, which was introduced with the iPhone 12. To create Ceramic Shield, Apple partnered with Corning, the company behind Gorilla Glass, which can be found in major Android flagships. Ceramic Shield adds high temperature crystallization to the development to the display panel. This allows nanoceramic crystals to grow within the matrix of the glass, resulting in a 400% improvement in frontal display durability on iPhone 12 and iPhone 13 iPhone 13 also features the advanced True Depth Camera System, which powers Face ID, an emoji, and selfie-related augmented reality. On the iPhone 13, the notch that houses True Depth Camera System is 20% smaller, which allows for more display area without enlarging the architecture of the smartphone. The iPhone 13 has its major improvements in three main categories, display, battery, and camera. Let's start with the display. The iPhone 13 has a new display panel that features a Super Retina XDR display that goes up to 800 nits of peak outdoor brightness, which is 25% brighter than the previous iPhone 12. Let's simplify this. Super Retina XDR is an old panel that was first introduced with the iPhone 11 Pro, then was extended to the entire 12 lineup, and now the 13 lineup. To understand what old is, we first have to talk about basic LEDs. An LED, or light emitting diode, is a device in your display that can produce light from electricity. Old, or organic light emitting diode is an LED, it's just a different kind. The main difference is that all LEDs are self-illuminating, which normal LEDs are not. This means that old can deliver more contrast and resolution in a thinner design, especially in darker environments. However, LEDs can still get brighter than the LEDs, making them the better choice in brighter environments. Old had other compromises that Apple wasn't willing to deal with. It had low brightness, yes, but it also had in bad color accuracy and color support. All of their devices used LCD type displays, even the Pro Display XDR. Apple only started using old in September 2017 with the introduction of the iPhone X. That was the Super Retina display. They released the Super Retina XDR on the iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max into September 2019, bringing it to all 2020 flagship iPhones. The iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro, and iPhone 12 Pro Max. When we are defining XDR, think of HDR, or High Dynamic Range. It brings out the brightest highlights and the darkest parts of an image, which is great for action scenes, night shots and more. XDR is extreme dynamic range, 
and it takes it even further with an improved display panel and newer algorithms and software-related advancements that create a fluid colorful experience, no matter what you're viewing. The iPhone 13 is powered by the new A15 Bionic chip. Apple is a leader in silicon advancement and their chips destroy the competition year after year. The A13 Bionic in iPhone 11 is still more powerful than most smartphone chips, and it even outperforms that Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus 5G, which is $1,099. Apple Silicon brings a unified sock to its products, and each chip is designed from the ground up for the product that it goes in. The A15 Bionic is no different, and it starts with a 6-core CPU, which has a 17% improvement over the A14 and the iPhone 12. On the GPU side, the A15 Bionic in iPhone 13 is 19% faster than the GPU in the A14 Bionic on iPhone 12. The power of 5G also makes sure that you can experience this speed on the go, and the improved 5G speeds on iPhone 13 will extend this capability and let it last for years to come. A15 Bionic also has a new neural engine, and thanks to the second generation 5 nanometer transistors, it can run 3.2 million more operations per second than the neural engine in A14, with an astonishing 15 billion ops capability. The A15 Bionic in iPhone 13 also has an advanced image signal processor that helps to manage the camera system that iPhone 13 has. The iPhone 13 has the most advanced dual camera system in an iPhone iPhone 13 single quote s wide camera can gather 47% more light and features a larger f 1.6 aperture compared to the f 1.8 aperture in the iPhone 12. The iPhone 13 also features the sensor shift optical image stabilization, or OIS, that came from the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The ultra wide camera has an f 2.4 aperture, and has a 120 degree field of view. Now, let's talk about iPhone camera features and technologies. The iPhone has gotten advanced camera technologies that integrate with the camera hardware, iOS software, and Apple Silicon that push iPhone towards the world of professional-grade cameras. In 2019, iPhone 11 Pro introduced Deep Fusion. In 2020, iPhone 12 Pro introduced Pura Images. And the more advanced iPhone 13 Pro in 2021 introduced Pro's video on iPhone. The iPhone 13 introduces an incredible new video technology called Cinematic Mode. It uses rack focus technology from professional cameras. The focus transitions happen automatically through the camera. Apple combined the learnings that they discovered from the art of cinematography to create an Apple custom sensor that can power Cinematic Mode which records in 1080p Dolby Vision HDR. The A15 Bionic that powers this is so powerful that you can even change the focus after you record it. Cinematic mode is on the wide, ultra-wide, and front through depth camera. The iPhone 13 is even better battery life than the previous generation iPhone 12. The iPhone 13 mini has 1.5 hours more battery life than the iPhone 12 mini, and the iPhone 13 has 2.5 hours more battery life than the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 mini has a 2227 mAh lithium-ion battery, and the iPhone 13 mini has a 2406 mAh battery. The iPhone 12 has a 2815 mAh lithium-ion battery. While the iPhone 13 has a larger 3,227 mAh battery. The iPhone 13 is also a great device for the Apple ecosystem and continuity. iPhone is a single device in the ecosystem of Apple products. There are other Apple devices that shine alongside the iPhone. One of the most popular other Apple products to use with iPhone is AirPods. The AirPods family consists of AirPods, AirPods Pro, and AirPods Max. Whether you're on the streets or in a store, AirPods are everywhere. The standard AirPods feature a compact design with spatial audio and MagSafe charging. The AirPods Pro take it a step further with active noise cancellation and transparency mode. AirPods Max, the over-ear headphones, have the longest battery and highest fidelity sound in AirPods. The AirPods have come a long way, from being a pair of expensive earbuds to selling better than Foot Locker and Amd. The AirTag is another pivotal accessory. This tiny tracker can use the Find My network of over 1 billion Apple devices to track down the precise location of the AirTag. 
This helps you find lost items such as keys, wallets, or bags. AirTag has up to one year of battery life and is just $29. We are now going to move on from the hype marketing that Apple has made and get real. Until now, we've talked about specs. Now, we have to discuss the iPhone 13 in the real world. The iPhone 13 has significant value over the iPhone 12 that makes it well worth the $100 price difference. It has a 28% brighter panel, a combined overall performance improvement of about 57%, 17% CPU, 19% GPU, 22% neural engine, the most advanced dual camera system in an iPhone, longer battery life, and improved 5G. If you already have an iPhone 12, however, I wouldn't take the extra step to get the iPhone 13. The improvements are not significant unless you know exactly where to find them. The iPhone 13 single quote S improvements don't matter as much year over year, but they will make a significant difference as we go further into the 2020s. The iPhone 13 provided 7 hours and 45 minutes of battery life in a test on the YouTube channel, Merhu's Epiboss. This test included gaming, video streaming, social media, music, and more. The iPhone 13 will last for hours. Apple has had a pattern over the last few years that seemed to start in 2018. The pattern would alternate and tell us which iPhones would have a more significant upgrade. In 2018, the consumer catered iPhone XR had a significant upgrade that made the XS and XS Max not seem worth it. The iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max in 2019 were much better buy than the iPhone 11. The 2020 iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 mini were a much better value than the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. So that brings us to the 2021 iPhone lineup, the 13. If we followed the pattern, the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max should have better value than the iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini. But this year is a bit more confusing. This year is about who you are. To one user, the iPhone 13 is just a simple spec upgrade while the Pro models are competitive and more worthwhile. To another, the iPhone 13 has all of the Pro features that they need. It is a difficult decision. The way I would point you is just to think about what you do in your current relationship with phones and other devices. If you are a Pro, go Pro. If you know what lidar is, what promotion is, what PRARs and PARA and Telephoto are capable of, and you know how you will take advantage of them on a regular basis, then go get a Pro iPhone. If you want the longest battery life, get the iPhone 13 Pro Max. If you are a teenager or an average consumer, get the iPhone 13. Personally, I don't see the value in the iPhone 13 mini unless you absolutely have to have a small phone. It won't last for nearly as long as the other models and it will have less battery life. Another factor that I would put out there is to look at what phone you have right now and what other products you have. If you have a Surface Book and a Galaxy Tab, then you shouldn't be looking at an iPhone at all. If you have a 15 year old flip phone and you're just now realizing after using it for the first time in 8 years that it doesn't work, then don't go pro. If you don't use your phone, get something as cheap as possible, like the iPhone SE. If you're a teenager, then the iPhone 13 will work great for you. If you're a photographer, then the iPhone 13 Pro will be amazing. If you want the largest display in an iPhone, but you don't plan to use the Pro features, I would actually tell you to wait, however. The iPhone 14 lineup is going to include an iPhone 14 Max, which will be the features of the iPhone 14, but with a larger screen size and battery size of the Pro Max. The iPhone 14 Max will be priced at $899, which is much more affordable than the $1,099 that you pay for the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the $1,199 that you might have to pay for the 14 Pro Max based on leaks from sources inside Apple. In conclusion, the iPhone 13 is a great all-rounded smartphone. If you're looking to nerd out with advanced technologies like foldable phones and experimental software, then Apple is not the company you're looking for. Those nerds will appreciate smartphones from companies like Samsung, Xiaomi, and Google. But for the average consumer, the iPhone 13 is the way to go.